Monique on our Facebook page. Uh, what's your advice for children or adults with congenital, uh, congenital heart defects and heart palpitations? Are they affected differently to somebody who does not present with CHD? Yes, so congenital heart defects uh, basically are are multiple in sense of some some people have what they call a leak heart. In other yeah, words, they have a, a leaking heart. A leaking heart, uh-huh. and often people use the term loosely, but uh, it can refer to obviously a valve lesion. In other words, a mur- heart murmur due to mm-hmm. a valve that doesn't seal properly, and it's often there from birth, and can be become worse uh, as as you grow older. And yeah. some people actually grow out of it uh, in in many cases, depending on the structural lesion. And then the other big one is called a PDA, a, a patent ductus arteriosus, and that means that the, the upper chambers of the heart basically, uh, or a, a, a patent foramen ovale, there's a connection between the two upper chambers of the heart, so there's a bit of a you know, a shunting of blood from the mm-hmm. left to the right upper chambers of the heart. But when it comes to congenital heart defects, what you need to understand, there are deadly ones and they're not deadly ones, to put it quite simply. And uh, normally that's uh, sorted out quite early due to the symptoms that someone has. You'll have, due to an overload or a shunting of blood that that is inappropriate, you often have the symptoms of heart failure and things like, for example, fluid overload in the lungs. People and children can become quite short of breath with minimal exertion, minimal Mm -hmm. exercise, just walking a certain distance that often is a warning sign that people have an underlying heart defect. So when it comes to palpitations as such as a main symptom of a disease, normally if it's uh, accentuated or brought on by exercise, it will be brought on a lot quicker and it could be exacerbated. In other words, unmasked, uh, you know, by the fact that you're increasing the load on the heart and the and making the heart basically work harder as a pump specifically. So when it comes to palpitations uh, in, in adults as well that have had congenital heart de- uh, lesions as children, Certainly, it would also depend on what lesion they had. Mm-hmm. It's not a simple question in terms of, you know, which ones would make you feel worse uh, when you when you get older. So the bottom line there is any form of minimal exertion obviously often unmasks the underlying problem. But if you have the symptoms of presyncope, which is that fainting feeling or feeling like you're going to black out if you have dizziness, cold and clamminess and, a, and an irregular heart rate that makes you worry and doesn't settle down with rest you need to get to your practitioner.